So today is my birthday and happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. We are at the palace of Bedlevo. So this is actually a palace owned by the math department. It's internationally famous except nobody in Poznan knows about it. So yeah, me, I, yeah. I, I, I Alif had no idea what it was and they actually have math international math conferences here year round. People come all from all over the world here and this is basically a, a desolate area with nothing in it except for this palace. So they have these conferences, you're expected to talk to each other, to work with each other, and then there's a village that's a little crazy, we're going to go walk around it and see, and then there's nothing else. So there are some centers like this around the world, there's one in the Black Forest where mathematicians get together and there's like nothing much around, they're forced to work, one in, in Banff in Canada. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get inside the palace, surprisingly there's something going on here. <laughs> and Awif was smart enough to bring his sunglasses because, <laughs> yeah, I want to look like that. I want cool sunglasses like that. Yeah, like, you will get sun. <laughs> you yeah. will get sun, yeah. I need to do this because I read, I saw a video, Casey Neistat apparently says he wears sunglasses so he can look directly at the camera and not at the screen, which would be really nice. <laughs> like, and then he wears them inside too at night, so I mean, that would be great, you know. Um, cool. But it's, um, it's also 69 degrees outside right now. Yeah. And 69 is one of my favorite numbers, so <laughs> it's, it, make, cool. it makes it even better. Yeah, like I'm not good in mathematics, but I know one math. You know about 69, you know about 69, so yeah. Okay, so we're going to go look around and see if there's anything going on, but I actually did see a couple people over there, so we'll see what we can yeah, find. We'll, we'll see, and some smell is coming from... And oh, there's uh, a yeah, there's a disgusting smell in the yeah, village. But, uh, yeah, maybe there is some factory, some interesting factory. Who knows? I think it's maybe some cows in someone's backyard yeah. or chickens or something. <laughs> we'll so, see. so we'll see. So I just want to have everyone get a view of the palace grounds. So like usually, um, the conference will really more go on in there, and there'll be people staying in there, mathematicians staying there, and in these sorts of buildings, and they have like a little tiny gym also. And um, we checked, and this is the palace itself is actually not open, unfortunately. But they have this like weird bar; they call it Ice Hell Bar, and there's even a dance floor, but nobody dances. But there's <laughs> there's cheap beer. Like I'd love to see some mathematicians dancing. You know, maybe I'm gonna come back here yeah, in better we times. Have a chance, and we will be back in normal time, and then we will see how crazy stuff is going here. <laughs> you can see, you can come to a conference here and see what it's like. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a reception there, and that's where I did actually see some people walking around in there. So I don't know if it's, they might ask us, like, what the hell are we doing here if we go in? So maybe we'll go in there last and see what they say. And I, th I think there's some sort of lake in nature, yeah, so, like yeah. forest, something like that, interesting. Yeah, there is, because, like, there's, there's no party in this mm -hmm. town, so that's kind of, they're keeping the people at the conference Only away from Only mathematician. <laughs> Stay home and do math. <laughs> math party, math party here, math party. yeah. Well, they, they drink the, the cheap beer here, for sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I think, I think it's less of like, you know, it's not like a Cuba Libre type party. It's more just kind of, oh, you know, talk some math and talk some other things, you know. Uh, okay. Is there is some, some kind of lake? Yeah, I th it, there, there is, yeah. But like there's actually something that you, you can hike quite a bit further that way. Are you can fishing? <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe there's some fishing here. And usually this is blocked off, and I mean, maybe... No, yeah, I mean, it's, it's very beautiful. So I think the idea, and I've, you know, I have actually had some good conversations here with some other mathematicians, just taking a walk around here. It's with a, a Christian Mauduit at the University of Marseille, and we had some good conversations walking around when he was here for a conference a couple years ago. Yeah, here's the palace again. So there's this little island here, and there's uh, some entrance here, but I think it's blocked off because, you know, the, I've been here for a couple times, or a few times actually, and never have I been able to get to this island. So I think, yeah, probably this bridge isn't so stable. But, yeah, I don't, I don't think we can, unfortunately. It says, I mean, we, you could, but I think it's probably not safe, to be honest. And Awif is taking selfies because it actually is a very beautiful place. Yeah. I don't know about the water though. I mean, I, I doubt it's polluted because there's, you know, I don't think there's too many, that many mathematicians here polluting the, the lake, but I don't know that I want to really jump in here with my electric, you know, my, uh, my gimbal and my phone and all that. So I don't want to risk it. 
yeah, it's closed. But I think, yeah, I, I haven't done it, but I think you go this way and you can hike for like some miles or kilometers and... Okay. Yeah, I mean, well, I can't... <laughs> yeah, it's great. And it, we, I mean, I guess no one's gonna stop us if we go, but I really don't trust that it's safe. Maybe, maybe if you want to try it, I can hold your cell phone, but... I mean, it's safe, no entry, so... Yeah. Doesn't make sense. I think there's, well, I think there's a good reason because the floorboards yeah, yeah. there are kind of, it looks really kind of not so safe. Yeah. We don't have any strength anymore, I guess. Yeah, probably not. But, I mean, you can see spring is coming with the flowers and, like, you know, there's the impending, impending doom outside with all the and everything. And we just have this beauty that we can appreciate now. I know the conferences that were here, a lot of them are getting canceled. So I looked at the schedule of the conferences and a lot of them are just not coming anymore. There's one gigantic bee. So I unfortunately have to make a little interruption in this video. Um, I was filming this on an iPhone 7 and I didn't realize that the sound chip in an iPhone 7 can just um, kind of disintegrate. And I had this problem and didn't realize it when I was filming. So uh, we ended up meeting some interesting people. I don't want to give too many spoilers, but we met some interesting people and I had some conversations and there's a lot of interference and static. Um, I put subtitles there. so. Um, I apologize for this, but just um, if you can, you know, try to uh, read the subtitles and some of it's not audible, but I put down what I could. So here we leave the palace as some sort of, I don't know, guard tower or something. And this is the gate going to the great village of Bedlevo. Uh, I have no idea how many people live in this village. I couldn't find that information. And when I looked in Wikipedia, all I could find is information about the palace and the math department. You can buy some good egg. Oh, we can buy some eggs. So, well, there's actually people. Look, there's a uh, two people over there. Pure. Oh, what? Like straight from the hen, you can buy the eggs. Yeah, let's look at this. So we can. Ah, yeah, nice. Are you hungry? Yeah, I am kind of hungry too. I mean, I, I mean, that's really making me hungry looking at that. So, what if we're pigeon eggs? Would you prefer that? <laughs> There's a story we're not telling right now. <laughs> so you see these a bit more uh, commonly in the uh, villages and some rural areas. So we have a cross. It's almost like a little place. I think people go to pray sometimes. You have uh, there's a Jesus on the cross up there, and you have the flowers and the candles. And there is the occasional car going by, so we do have to be careful. So this, this kind of looks like a farm back here, kind of with a barn. There's a dog that's coming. Um, Oif thinks he can buy some chickens or something back here. I don't know how kindly they're gonna take to us with the dog barking and the uh, gimbal and all the recording. I kind of feel like this is um, old and bankrupt math edition. Running in the dogs in the village. Maybe we can find some babushkas and have some vodka. And they have a cat also. Well, I think this is totally bizarre for her because, you know, all this. Because I, I asked No. Yeah. No, you need to come with some vodka. <laughs> vodka, you know, we both need better Polish skills. 
I forgot all the police. Yeah, B Bolden Bankrupt would handle this better. He would he would know the well in Russia maybe. <laughs> It just yeah. kind of reminded me of that. So let's just kind of see what's over there. I really want to go more that direction because there's some really interesting church that way. But there could be <laughs> something over here. The dog over there. Not nearly as uh, barky and yappy as the other one. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't know what happened, if it was a fire or what, but it's, it's uh, definitely pretty wrecked. Yeah, Uif, I think this is like your elements. I mean, this is like your place. Like you're, 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 you're talking to babushkas. <laughs> you're, I'm forgetting how to say chicken in Polish, but still talking to babushkas. Taking the lead, like, yeah, we gotta go here, we gotta go here, like. Yeah, I feel like. This is Ulitsa Pogorna. You know, they reuse all the same names everywhere in Poland for the streets. They're not too creative. And I think this just kind of goes to nothing, pretty much. The guy in the house was watching us as we walked by, like right from his window, just staring at us like he was a cat looking out the window. Um, of course, you know, this isn't exactly a place that would e ever really be full of people. Um, I'm mostly seeing just kind of families together. You know, it's, um, we got some farm up ahead. And they're probably more used to crazy people walking around here than in another Polish village, just because we have this math conference center next door, next door to it. So in this backyard, we have some roosters and chickens and things. So hopefully uh, you could hear that with the volume. Um, you know, we're just, uh, right on the street, of course, right behind, there's a bunch of animals. And I think I was, when I was here a couple years ago, I saw a bunch of cats there as well, but I don't see them now. This is the famous church in uh, Bedlevo. And we have a stork's nest up, nest up there. And let's get a little closer. I don't see any cars going right now. I've unfortunately never been inside this church, but it's really, really, really tiny, as you can see. And we can see the stork's nest from up there. Of course, there's something about the church probably being somewhat closed because of uh, That says, Matko Boja, like I think, Mother of God, Chestahovska Boguslav Nam. So I know uh, Boguslava is kind of an old school Polish name for women, but I have to translate that because there has to be some, something about God there. I don't know, I'll put it in subtitles. And yeah, you can see how far back. I mean, this is really just a tiny, tiny church. And we have, I mean, it's kind of like a farm back there. There's a tractor going in the distance over there. And we're gonna go, and this is the, this is the place to be in Bedlevo. This is their, their, their convenience store. This is the, I, I assume, the social, you know, the church. And this convenience store, this is downtown Bedlevo, I assume. This is where everything is. And we can go in here and, um, I don't know, we want to get some, like... Some fresh fruits and vodka, I don't know. And of course, this is a reminder that you know, between 10 and 12, uh, people, uh, I think over 65, get to go. Um, is there someone in there? So let's... Troha Popolsku. So, yeah, um, yeah, we'll move to Um, Popolsku. Um, Miesh Kame, uh, Ve Poznaniu. Um, Yestem Professor na Universitet Armitskiewicz, the Bartolomia Conference Center, Bedlevo. Um, Ale, um, Yestem Tutai, and yet, yes, Mui Urojina. And um uh yes Deshma Tutai Dla um blog uh na Mui Urgina YouTube blog sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's uh Mui Interesant, you know, uh Bushi, uh Dlatego Mieshkam na Miasto. Um Bushi Yesta Mui Intrusuyanse. Resume 
wiesz? I was just told that there's a, a stork up there. Up there, there's the stork, right? The, the bird, uh, the talk. This is a Polish beer, and we have Soplitsa Pig Vova. And it looks like pig wow up. So uh, a pig, yak shvinka. Pig? yak shvinka po angielsku. Okay, pig. Yeah. So, okay. Pizza, yeah, resume, resume. So, yeah, yes, um, it's my birthday. Yes, Mui Urojina. So, Solat, 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 Nia, Nia, Shan. No! You want to drink now? I got the. Okay, okay. So, thanks. Nazdrovka. Okay. Okay. So, well, I guess I'll drink it by myself, but yeah. that's okay. So we have, this is not actually pig flavored. Let me eat. Yeah. No, there's no, ne yeah, um, ne ne oh. Huh? Yeah. Oh, oh, over there, over there. Okay, do you want to come with? Uh, no, 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 it, it's, it's village, you know, so you have to drink first. And okay, well, yeah, I'll do it quickly. Shipto, bars are shipto. Yeah. Oh! Oh, you love it, Rob. I'll be like, yes, yes, yes. So I might feel that a bit later. But I yeah. got apple, fresh <laughs> apple. Yeah, apple. Nee, 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 lubish yab, dopaniach, right? Nee, lubish grammatica. Dopaniach, nee, nee, lubia, nee, lubish. Do you remember how this works, dopaniach? Um, Need like ni 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 lubi um yabuko, but it's ah. not yabuko, it's yabuka. Yab yabuka. Yab yabuka. Yabuko. Yabuko. But ni ni lubi shabko. Ah oh, okay, yeah. Maybe it was with um It's like a female and male. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's a grammatic grammatic yeah. bars are true now. <laughs> <laughs> bars are bars are true now. <laughs> so this was my birthday present to myself. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going on a little adventure. We're going to be buying some eggs right now. That's cool. We met this guy. So. Yeah. I have enough cash, we can cover it.
Yeah, scrambled eggs. Yeah, it's Nietzsche. Scrambled eggs. Yeah, scrambled eggs. Yeah, it's Nietzsche. Yeah. Lubia, yeah, it's Nietzsche. Yeah, it's Nietzsche. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he said, yeah, he told me earlier. So we're all different ages. Shish shant yeden, devajish shere tak, e shijishte jivienj. Oh, so it's back here. Oh, cool. Very cool. <laughs> oh, wow. I want to buy the white. You want to buy the chicken? Yeah. So we got all these chickens back here. I guess no eggs. A lot of chickens, though. Yeah, I, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, he's, he's been very friendly, so it's been good, yeah. Cool guy, you know, sure. I'm in a good mood because you had the Oh, yeah, 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 that too. Maybe I'll feel it more when I sit down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I wasn't intending to take that as a shot, but, you know. Oh, well. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I speak Polish good because. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I have to speak up. <laughs> but you know, I think he actually, this guy's done really well with making, very, giving us simple Polish. Okay. Like he's been actually very good speaking to us like in a simple way, because not everyone does that, you know. <laughs> so I actually do have to give him some credit because that's not a, you know, what everyone does. Yeah, this is this is this is a good birthday, I think, you know. Yeah, and we got the same place for the egg. Uh, oh yeah, the place that was advertising before. Yeah, we saw this. Yeah, and we have the the, the palace over there. Yeah, near the palace. If you come to the palace and you are hungry and you just come by the big yeah. and do it. You can you can um you know go to the convenience store and, and drink and, with. And then also natural egg is very good for your hair. So if you put egg on your hair. I think I need that. I'm receding a little bit, you know, I need to fix it a little. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. Maybe the natural egg can make this grow back a little yeah. bit. You know, that could be nice. I, I, I have done uh, like three yesterday. So I think something didn't go right there. So we're, uh, we're going somewhere else now. <laughs> no? No, 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 no. <laughs> So I'm a bit of a lightweight. I had a hard time putting the wide-angle lens on the the front camera. <laughs> so, you know, that's why. I mean, and, we'll and go we get. Got, we got oh, the, uh, eggs. We got our eggs. That guy was egg. super super cool. And apple. <laughs> this is what 100 milliliters of vodka does. This is when you don't drink at all. Even if you weigh as much as I do and you don't drink, nothing happens. I think I drink more on YouTube than like the whole rest of my life. 
because they had the beer a while back. Um, but that guy was super cool, so he helped us get the eggs, and there were a few people that were a little suspicious. But we got um, two cartons of eggs, and they're from these chickens that are here, so they're probably even better than what you can get in the supermarket. So I think we probably had enough in this village. I mean, this was a lot of fun, but I'm going to go home. And there are a few things I got to do, and I'm going to probably take my cats outside, and we can get uh, get that on video too. So I just got back from Bedlevo, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cats outside for a walk. So normally I would take them out later in the day, but I'm going to actually show what they do and film it. So it's better to do it when it's earlier and lighter out. So I'm taking the cats out and he knows it's time to go out for sure, as you can see. And he doesn't like this leash, um, but it's necessary because he causes a lot of trouble when I go out sometimes. And she's better behaved. Um, you know, if I'm going to choose one of them to have a leash, it's not going to be her. Um, but like back when I had him in Texas, you know, he would be... Um, you know, chasing dogs and like doing all kinds, of, you know, going under the cars and getting like all greasy and not, you know, letting me take them back inside. So, um, if I'm going to take the two of them out together, for sure he needs to be the one with the leash. And yeah, there she, she's following a little bit behind. Um, but this is kind of how it always goes. And look, he likes to walk on the outside of the stairs like that. Because I guess it's kind of a, a funny cat thing to do. Someone's very excited. Is it this one? So he absolutely does not like the leash, but if I'm going to choose one to be looking after extra carefully, it's got to be him. And like I said before, she generally behaves herself pretty good. I mean, the most for the most part, they're just gonna be out here just eating grass and doing stuff like that because cats are more or less like goats sometimes, as you can see. Um, the real main thing to worry about is that there's a little, kind of little area that can sneak through there to the other yard um, by the other apartment. But otherwise, this is an enclosed space and it's fairly safe to just kind of take the cats out here and they'd be here for like a couple hours if I let them. You know, I'll probably take them out for like maybe half hour, an hour today, something like that. And there can be a little bit of a problem sometimes that they might want to climb the tree, so I have to be vigilant about that. And I don't know if you can see, there's another cat right over there and sometimes they just hiss at the other cat through the fence. So we had a little bit of a drama. So there's another cat that we noticed too and the owner was just explaining, and you have another cat too that doesn't come out, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I think I've seen this, you let this cat, this cat just roams around here fairly yeah. freely. I yeah, free. Yeah, because I see this cat in this courtyard sometimes, and like I've tried to say hi to it sometimes, and maybe, you know, it stands by the door. Yeah, he's always waiting for us there, but he's also some fighter, so he yeah. never like fight with another cat. Szafrański. What's the name? Franz? Shafran. 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 I see. I see. It's like spicy. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it looks a little dirt. I mean, yeah, I can see with the white fur. Well, when my cat, when we lived in Texas, um, he would go like under the car and, you know, he would get this like oil spots like on his fur and it was really, you know, that's part of why the whole leash thing, because he'd run under cars and cause all this trouble. So, and he'd even attack dogs. That was the other problem.
right now calling my parents for the for my birthday today. So they're in Detroit, which was hit much harder than Poznan with a. So everything's yeah. okay. Hopefully. Oakland County, the hot spots. Wayne County's even worse. Yeah, yeah. it's really, it's really crazy how it is over there. Yeah, we went to CVS today wearing a mask, wearing gloves. Oh no, wearing masks because it wasn't one mask between the two of us. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to show part of how I'm spending the whole time with the that I have some sort of workout equipment here. So a lot of this is new. I didn't have this mat before, so I bought this mat. And those adjustable dumbbells are new. The fat grips on it aren't made a, for like a thick dumbbell. Um, I had that exercise wheel for a while, but it wasn't really, I didn't really realize how useful it was until just recently. Some bands, some Captain's of Crush grippers, and exercise ball. And it hasn't really been... Um, anywhere near as good as being in a gym with full barbell and everything. Um, you have a loading pin and some attachments for some uh, specialized grip work. Um, but I've been at least kind of keeping my sanity with it. And over here we have oh yeah, some more of the equipment, my scale. We have to do online teaching, so I got this. I haven't even opened it yet, but tomorrow I'm going to try experimenting and seeing if this can work to teach my class. After some calls with my parents and some other people, I decided to just do a bit of work before I go to bed. So here I'm editing a video that I'm sure will post before the one I'm recording right now. And so just kind of still figuring out all the intricacies of video software. I have a Polish book and a bunch of other stuff. And I'll admit that my work desk is usually actually much dirtier than that. I actually did clean it up a little bit for this video. And while I'm working, I'm of course being guarded and watched over by this wild animal right here. Oh, he got to go outside today. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope that everyone else is able to maybe get some idea of something to do that's interesting um, during the whole pandemic time. And especially, I hope, wish everyone a happy birthday that has a birthday while uh, the pandemic is going on. And oh, someone else is climbing up, so something funny is going on right now.